So my entire, my entire adult life, I've battled with alcoholism and addiction from when I was a teenager, I turned to, towards alcohol to, to emotionally numb myself of things that happened as a child. And, and there was times that I got sober and was on the wagon and there was times where I wasn't. And the issue continually got worse in my life, progressively got worse. And those times that I was sober, I really just isolated myself. I couldn't go around many people. I definitely couldn't be around people who were drinking. I had to like completely shut myself off from any temptation. But five years ago, I found God and I gave my life to, to Jesus. And I did have my battles with alcoholism after that. I had to learn who God is and develop more of a relationship with him. But I've been sober now for three years and over the last three years, God took that desire to drink completely from me. I can be at a bar, I can be around people who are drinking, and I have no desire, I don't even have any thoughts to take a sip of alcohol. It just makes me actually sick to think about it. And I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful that God did that to me because the, the, those tempting thoughts and trying to battle with that in your mind, is so difficult. I, I've never been to any AA classes. I I just believed that God is a miracle worker and he he had the power he has the power to deliver me of this affliction and he did. So on another note, the last few days I've had to lean into him into the Lord and believe and trust that he is going to battle this issue that we're dealing with in our family. And it's in his, in his hands and he's going to take care of it. And whatever happens, it's going to happen for good. And I know God has the power to restore anything. And that Sunday, the Sunday that Watt left, I was walking in the spirit and that led me to that orphanage. God led me there and meant, led me to meet all those amazing people. And when we flow with the Holy Spirit and walk with him and follow him, we end up going to the most amazing places and we walk away from religion. And the experiences God has for you, is just beyond words. After that, I had felt I felt a little depressed for the last couple days, just being honest. But today is a good day and we have been having fun with the kids. We're just, I'm just focusing on my blessings and how blessed I am to have my children and to have Nam. We took Luke to this, play, Luke and Leon to this play center called Play Mondo and they had so much fun. You guys ready? Like a doggy, Leon, like a doggy. Can you do it? You can't do it? You have fun? I'm here. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're gonna go up there? Mommy's right here. Don't <laughs> so Mom's gonna help. Luke found a friend and now he's gone. I have no idea where he is, but I know he's having fun. It's like a spider web. How do you get in there? Can you get in there? Are you in? Okay. Yeah. Bye. Where'd it go? Whoa. Oh, look, there's Luke. 
<laughs> Luke, are you having fun? Tom Tom? Tom Tom. Do it, Leon. Do it. Do it. Do it faster. Faster, Leon. <laughs> you can't do it. Oh. Ow, it's gonna bite you. It's gonna bite you. Ow, ow. This is a fancy movie theater. It's like marble floors. Yay. Nam, are you excited? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, we am sorry. Because doesn't it look fancy in here? I mean, they're wearing like tuxedos. It's so fancy. I feel like I'm in The Shining. Or like, you know, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a movie right now. Do you need Anahan? No, this is like a membership? First class. Oh, wow. <laughs> so if you get first class, you get like little hors d'oeuvres. This is like a first class movie lounge. It's about we don't have first class. Look at this first class, Luke. Yeah. Not for us. Not for us. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hi. So we have four choices of popcorn. Original. Paprika. Caramel. Caramel. Cheese. And this is Nam's first time ever seeing a movie. But it's in English, so Nam, hopefully you'll understand. You'll understand. It's a cartoon, so she'll get it. <laughs> Leon, what are you doing? Hey, stop picking. Okay, we're getting an extra large popcorn, half caramel, half cheese. Yeah. That sounds yummy. Hey, look at this one. Half cups can drink. Yeah, Jurassic World. You even have a divider in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> You're scared. Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> we have this whole place to ourselves, which is wonderful. No, I think people will come later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this place is so fancy. They even have pillow, or I mean pillows. I've never seen my koi do this, no? Blanket and pillows. That's so nice. Did you just say you're gonna go to the bathroom Look. when it starts? Yeah. Two nine, no, two nine. Oh, let me say yeah. that to turn on. Yes. Damn. <laughs> okay. Come on. Survive much longer. Now, what did you think? So happy, Maha. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and thank Leon. You, Lily. Yeah. Thank you, Nam. And Leon fell asleep five minutes in, and then he woke up five minutes out. <laughs> so we were planning on going home, stopping at Toss, making a salad, but it's pouring down rain, so we stopped at the place it's. it's we, the first place we saw basically is called Moza by Cocut, and it's a French style restaurant, maybe Italian, and it looks good. Nice. 
And it's warm too. Olive oil and let me show you. <laughs> That's because it's vinegar. <laughs> oh, that's my spinach with Parmesan. It ends up being a lot of spinach that comes out of there. I wanted to show you. Look at those mashed potatoes. Guys. I don't know what it's called. What is it? Spaghetti carbonara, but not really. It has mushrooms on it. Wow. <laughs> and now Italian sea bass. Look at that crispy skin. And pesto and vegetables. This fish is perfection. The skin is so crispy. You got the fresh pesto, everything is perfectly salted. There's a little bit of acid from the, the roasted tomatoes. Up. Sorry. Yeah. I'm here. I'm Two two hour. Two hours our room yeah. got red flooded. Getting wet. We're like a wet rat. But it was kind of fun. Yeah, please. Oh, Leon really loved it. Leon tall, huh? Leon, are you okay? I lost my shepherd. I lost nothing. He makes me lie down, brain pastures. He leads me inside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me.